all people who lived through World War I would somehow be affected by it. Some because they actually fought in the war, whilst for other it just changed their everyday life. In this film I'll show you how the war affected one of the soldiers who fought in it. His name is J.R.R. R. Tolkien, and he is best known as the author of The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien was no World War writer who portrayed what he had experienced. Yet there can be found several subconscious similarities between his experience in the war and the happenings in his books. There are some quite obvious similarities when it comes to the landscapes in Tolkien's literary work. The land of Mordor is very influenced by the northern France after the Battle of the Somme. Mordor is sometimes described as almost identical to the no man's land between the trench lines. Also, the dead marshes are very similar to the battlefield of Flanders, where the soldiers of World War I literally drowned in the mud. Not only the landscapes, but also many of the characters in Tolkien's literature are influenced by people he knew either before or during the war. One of these characters is Sam Gamgee, who is one of the main characters in The Lord of the Rings. For as Tolkien himself wrote in one of his letters, My Sam Gamgee is indeed a reflection of the English soldier, of the privates and batmen I knew in the 1914 war, and recognized as so far superior to myself. The Tea Club Barovian Society was a poetry club where Tolkien was a member before World War I. He and his three best friends were the main members of this club. All of them went to war. Most people who have studied Tolkien's work agree that the four hobbits and the Lord of the Rings most likely are influenced by the four main members of the Tea Club Barovian Society. In both World War I and Tolkien's writings, most people feel that they are caught up in a never-ending war. Each victory is just a small setback for the enemy and a great loss of lives for themselves. In the Battle of the Somme, more than 300,000 soldiers died in during a few days. The land gained were 25 times 8 kilometers. Every soldier who was a part of the war would eventually have to bury somebody he had known or even been friends with or related to. The dead were shown all possible respect and this is also a subject that Tolkien brings into his writings. But both World War I and the War of the Ring do eventually end and the people who have fought in it return to their families and many of them manage to continue their ordinary lives. Mary, Sam and Pippin are Tolkien's pictures of the veterans who do manage to get back to their old selves. Frodo is one of the shell-shocked veterans who doesn't. After a while of trying to get back to his old life, he eventually leaves Middle-earth for good. Both World War I and The Lord of the Rings was the ending of an era. The World War ended almost 100 years of peace in Europe while the wars in the Lord of the Rings ended several centuries of war. So many lives and homes are destroyed that it will take a long time to rebuild it all. So as you can see from this, all people are colored by the time they live in, also the great authors. Maybe we don't always realize ourselves how much the time we live in has to say on how we become.